Hi everyone, welcome back to Tableau Certified Data Analyst Exam Prep. In this domain, we're going to be focusing on questions related to creating connections and transforming data in Tableau. If you haven't seen the first video where I provide a brief overview of the exam format, then make sure you go ahead and check it out by clicking the link above. For anyone planning to take the exam, I will be assuming that you know the basics. So you should know how to connect to different file types, and you should also be able to describe the difference between a live connection and an extract, and the reasons for why you would choose one over the other. Any subsections that you see here highlighted in red will require some extra preparation, as you may see a good number of questions related to these specific areas. Some of these questions can be tricky, so I will be focusing this tutorial on reviewing these specific areas. Anything highlighted in yellow means that you should be able to perform any specific steps described in that subsection. So for example, if you were given a workbook containing a visualization and then asked to replace the original data source with another data source, you should know how to do this and be able to describe the steps that you would take. You're going to see questions that ask you to complete a SQL query and you'll be given a table or resulting output and then you'll have to fill in the blanks. So here the first question is asking us to select the customer name and city columns from the customer's table. So this is a very basic select statement. And as an analyst, you should know basic SQL commands and be able to extract data from data sources. So the final statement is going to say select customer name, comma city from customers. Here we're asked to select only distinct values from the country column in the customer's table. And we're also given the resulting output here on the right hand side. So your final statement is going to be select distinct country from customers. Make sure you guys know these basic SQL commands. So things like select, select distinct, sum, count, average, um, because you will see these types of questions. And even though you're not going to be asked to write an entire query, you will have to make the right choice when filling in the blanks. You may also see questions that ask you to reorder steps in the correct order. So for example, if we wanted to connect to a published data source on Tableau server and create a new workbook, what would be the correct order for the steps below? So make sure you know the steps that you would take to publish a data source online, connect to a published data source, or navigate to a specific project folder. With multiple choice type of questions, you will see both single response and multiple response. In this question, we're asked to select all required steps when replacing a data source for an existing workbook. So first you need to think of how you would bring in an entirely new data source into Tableau, and then you need to consider the steps that you would take to replace the original data source. If you take a closer look at option four here, adding a connection from the data source page will actually result in a cross database join, but we are interested in bringing in an entirely new data source. So we can simply exclude that option. Make sure you guys review the difference between adding a data source from the data tab of your main menu versus adding a new connection from the data source page. All right, so we're moving on to part two of domain one. Some of the basic things that you should definitely already know for subsections 1.4 is how to change default field properties of dimensions and measures. So things like changing the number format, um, aggregation, sorting, renaming columns and creating aliases. You should also know how to perform a basic split on your columns and how to run the data interpreter. What I would suggest doing is focusing more on the red areas here. In section 1.2, you want to make sure that you can perform basic cleaning operations on your data. So things like replacing null values with zeros, pivoting your data from columns to rows, and knowing the difference between different types of joins. You should also be able to look at an output of a specific join and be able to tell what type of join was used. For section 1.3, you just need to know the basic operations in Tableau Prep Builder, but you won't see any complex questions. I would highly recommend that you guys compare the cleaning operations in Tableau Desktop to those available in Tableau Prep, and this is going to help you quickly pick out the correct tool for specific cleaning operations and use cases. All right, so let's take a look at some questions. You may see some tricky questions related to cleaning operations, such as this one. This question is asking you to choose the correct statement that will replace null values with zeros. Try to answer this question correctly without looking at the answer. If you can't, then make sure you know the difference between isNull, ifNull, zn, and lookup functions, 
as well as their syntax. Now, this is a super easy question, which assumes that you know how to read the output of a data interpreter. So the question is asking how many rows of data were interpreted as values in this particular output. And the answer here is five, because anything highlighted in red is interpreted as column headers. In this question, we're given a table and we're asked what we should do to this table before analyzing it. If you take a closer look at this table, you will see that the years appear as columns. So this is going to be a problem because Tableau actually prefers a tall format as opposed to a wide format for your data. So you would pivot your columns to rows. Now, this is a Tableau Prep Builder question. So you may be given a list of names or states, for example, that use different punctuation. And you're going to be asked to select a specific method to group these items together. So you need to be familiar with these options and be able to choose the correct option in applicable use cases. You may also see questions related to different types of output files that can be created in the output step. So you can configure a prep builder to output your data as an extract, a CSV, or a Microsoft Excel file. You will also need to be familiar with different filter options available for different data types. So for example, for strings, we're going to see four options, calculation, wildcard match, selected values, and null values. So for Tableau Prep Builder, this is what you should be focusing on. Make sure you know the difference between different sampling methods, automated grouping, output types, filter options, and how to do basic operations like renaming fields or combining files using a wildcard union. Guys, make sure to study your joins because you will see a fair number of questions that test your understanding of each join type. In question 11 here, we're given two tables, customers table and orders table, and you need to figure out which join you would use to get the resulting table that selects all customers and any orders they may have. So here you're going to use a left join to join the customers table with the orders table because you want to return all records from your customers table and only matching records from the orders table. You don't need to know the actual query, but you should have an idea as to what your table structure will look like if you were to use different types of joins to join two or more tables together. This question is asking us for two different things. First, it's asking us to identify the primary key of the customers table, and then we're asked to identify the join type that will select matching records in both tables. The primary key is a unique identifier for each row in a table. So customer ID in this case is the primary key of the customer's table and an inner join will give you matching records in both tables. All right, so for domain one, make sure you know the difference between these four logical functions as well as how to use them. Make sure you know how to pivot your data and read the output of a data interpreter and know your join types inside and out. You should also know the difference between a join, a union, a blend, and a relationship, and be comfortable recognizing cases when you would use one over the other. For additional learning resources, make sure you guys check out the links in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for a comprehensive overview of Domain 2, and happy studying! Don't forget to leave your comments below, and please share, like, and subscribe to support our channel.